why suddenly celebrate the graduate school after 100 years? Uh, it's a good question. The graduate school, there isn't a building. You can't point to a school, a physical school. And really, the graduate school is present in every nook and cranny. Reputation is built on longevity, and 100th anniversary says that very clearly. Scholarship, research, training for the future uh, will always be relevant. When I took the job in 2001, UMB had about 25 graduate programs. Now, UMB Graduate School has 44 graduate programs. We inherited a very rich and robust graduate school from those who came before us. And from my point of view, the best way to honor their work is to build on that rich legacy. I've been especially impressed with, even as we evolve, and even as we become more entrepreneurial and more innovative, how steadfastly committed we've remained to our collaborations with the other schools that support our legacy programs. Our tradition in our 100 year history within the graduate school is what attracts our students to this. Think of the credential they're going to have when they finish here or they go on and maybe they would like to teach here one day. Maybe they would like to perform research right here. We're so community-based. We have all kinds of avenues for these students but tradition means the world to them. My graduate degree from the University of Maryland Baltimore has literally changed my life. It gave me the chance to chair, co-chair a subcommittee under President Obama for science and technology policy. It gave me the chance to be a mentor and a role model for other women who want to be successful in science and engineering. And now it's given me the chance to come back and be vice president for research. So I've come full circle and I'm so excited to give back to this university that has given me so much. Employers in the area can say, I can trust a student coming from UMB. I can trust that they've got a, a quality education. This institution has been around for 100 years. Coming here, doing my graduate in education here at UMB has really developed myself, not only as a professional, but it's also developed my individualism and my leadership skills, being able to talk to people one-on-one -on -one and being able to lead in any discussion that I am part of. So I think our 100 year legacy for the graduate school will lead to better outcomes for students like myself because it really just shows that we have a legacy for you know this community and within the medical community. And because we have this reputation, we attract top talent. The 100 year tradition is really important for graduates or for students looking at this program because we really have to have a foundation and so that strong foundation allows new programs to build. I have a bachelor's degree in physical therapy. I'm also a certified yoga therapist. And so this graduate certificate really allowed me to pull my two worlds together, and I was able to apply it directly to my patients from, from the start. We would like to see the graduate school be the go-to place because of our expertise and because of our ability to put good programs together that are durable and useful. We began an association with Anne Arundel Community College to partner with them on a physician assistant program. That program has been highly successful and ended up being a launching pad for the development of additional programs within the graduate school similar to that program. Now it's time to celebrate. Because if we did not have the graduate school, we could not be responsive to today's learners. It's good to stand on the shoulders of something that has history, that has staying power, that has experience. Something where you can say, we're not just going to see how this works out. We've got the power of an institution that's 100 years old. There's absolutely no reason why the graduate school can't continue forward and have another fantastic 100 years. It's completely and totally up to us, and I think our faculty and staff and those we collaborate with are up to the challenge.